Good morning, Arizona! Hello, everybody, and welcome to AZPL Today. I'm your host, Michael Karen, and I'll be bringing you all the AZPL news, scores, and highlights from last night's matches, as well as what's on deck for today. First off, we have some scores from Prescott Valley. Winners of four straight two and a half sticks and the chicks headed into their match with Just Get Seven at Tony's Two in first place on Monday night. Patrick Lensing started off with the win, and Just Get Seven was on their way to an upset. After round one, it was tied up at 22, and that's as close as it got as Get Seven got a 30 in the middle round and won 85 to 66. The loss drops the sticks to. Uh, to fifth at four and two, one individual win behind cut and run. The win snaps just get seven's three match losing streak and moves them up to tenth at two and three. Winners of three straight, the Chalkaholics took on all balls no bust at Tony's two. Andy Davis and Mike Miller started it off with a pair of wins for the Holics before Mike Barnett won one for the balls. But after it was all but after that, it was all chalkaholics as Andy and Mike went on to pick up a pair of 30s on their way to an 87-51 to win. Andy now has a nine-game winning streak, and Mike has a seven-gamer going on. They're now in first place at 4-1. and one. All bust drops to eighth at 3-3. Three and three. Third place, maximum effort. We're at Barefoot Bob's to play the winners of uh, three straight the PV Shot Callers. The Shot Callers continued that, that streak as Division PR leader Sean Kukerall picked up his fourth 30. He's now 18-3 and three with a 3.90 OPR. They went on to win 78-63 to improve uh, to 4-3, and, and they are now in seventh place. Larry Randall had his winning streak snapped at 13. The loss drops the, uh, the maximum effort to sixth at 3-2. Three-way combo visited the Diamond Girls at Barefoot Bob's on Monday night and extended their winning streak to three matches as the combo won 74-65. The win improves the three-way combo into a two-way tie for first as they are in second by 36 points. Stephanie Sterling won two and scored 26 to stay atop the standings as the ladies' PR leader with the 2.167. Fresh off of two straight doubleheaders, your attitude means nothing. Paid a visit to Balls Deep at Tony's 2 for a single match. Doug Ashley won three, and the Attitudes closed out the match with five straight wins as they won their match 81-64. to The win lifts your attitude to third place at 5-2. and two. Cut and Run had their work cut out for them uh, as their match with the uh, JCW Ballers went back and forth until Game 6 when David Farmer started off their four-game streak to win the match 77-70 at Tony's 2. The win moves Cut and Run into fourth place at 4-2. Four and two. In their other match, the Ballers defeated the Block and Pocket 75-69 as Johnny Fisher picked up his first 30-point uh, game. They are now 2-4 and four after splitting that doubleheader. The Block and Pockets also had a doubleheader on Monday, with Steve Kilgore leading the way with a 30 in the second game to a 75-72 win over the 8-ballers. The Pockets are now 1-4 after splitting their doubleheader. Last night at Tulane Saloon, guess who's from Thailand enjoying the night off with a, in first place at 5-2? and two. They had a bye. Then along came the fire-breathing rubber duckies. They played Chris Navas and the Electric Boogaloo on Wednesday night. Chris led it off with the win, and after round one, the Boogs were up 27-24. to Round two saw a couple more wins, but the, du the Duckies closed the gap to just two after six games. In the seventh game, Mike Krause beat Chris to take the lead and snap his streak at seven. Donald Hudgings followed that up with a break and run, and that put it out of reach as the Duckies pulled off the upset, snapping the Boogaloo's winning streak at four and taking over first place. The Boogaloo drops to third at four and three, and guess who's from Thailand drops to second. Losers of two straight, just three lesbians, took on losers of three straight, all balls matter, and someone's streak was about to end. In the opening round, BC Antonio kicked it off with a 10-3 win over Sam King, and from there it went back and forth every game with the balls winning five of them, but Justin King picked up the 30, and the lesbians won 73-67. The win improves their record to four and three, but they drop to four from fourth to fifth as two bucks and a dough. Also win and outscored the Lesbos 87 to 68 to move into fourth, 18 points ahead of them. 
Melba Moses and John Lewis combined for 60 to lead the Bucks and Doe to an 87-67 win over Blurred Vision. Over at Mills Modern Social, Beer Me remains in first place in the No Handicap division on Wednesday nights after they won their eighth straight match. This time it was a 72-71 nail-biter over Who's On First. John Watts scored 23 as his winning streak was snapped at 11, uh, but is still atop the leaderboard at 20-4. and four. Who's This won 5 out of 9, but the beer got more than 6s and 7s to pull out the win. Those people had a doubleheader on Wednesday facing off against the Chalk Blockers and Notoriously Great. In Game 1, Cecil Atson picked up a 30 and Dave and Levicka and Michael Karen each scored 27 to lead the Peeps to an 84-52 win over the Chalk Blockers. Carrie Giltner picked up her second win of the season and scored 21 for the Blockers. In Game 2, Cecil was going for a second 30 of the night. For those people, but John Ilk of Notoriously Great had other ideas as he hung in there for the win. The Peeps won this match as well, 78-66, to as they swept their doubleheader. Tonight at Mills Modern Social, Phil's first place, Marmot Fury, defends their spot at the top against I'd Hit That. Chris Jones leads the way at 11-4. Kathy Bale has an 8-1 record with a 29-match average for I'd Hit That. The Scorpions went from 4th to 2nd last week, improving to 5-2 and two after their win. Ramona Seba is leading the Scorps with a 14-7 record and 175 points in 7 matches. This week they take on the 3rd place Shake, Rack, and Run, featuring top rookie Cornell Benali, who is at 10-2, and two, shooting a 28 clip this season. On the Wire is 2nd place. Should be a good match tonight. The Rad Treeman visit Game Over tonight and look to improve on their fourth place record. Game Over looks to snap their seven, their three game losing streak. Winners of two straight, the Lone Rangers face off against Chalk is cheap in a quest to move up in the standings. Randy Torres took over the PR lead last week with his thirteen or twelve and three record and a two point one seven one PR, while shooting three point eight points over his career average. He also has a six game winning streak heading into tonight. Teammate Jason Cody has been on a tear as well, winning his last eight games while improving to 12-9. and nine. At 4-3, and three, they're now in fifth place with a guaranteed spot in the tourney if they can hold it. Last week, Mike Russell of the Schwetty Q Company scored his 6,000th career point, and Dylan Van Eseltine, one of the Desert Rats, won his 300th game. Tonight, those two teams are playing each other. Sparkies has a doubleheader on Thursday against women's PR leader Steph Marino and two and a half gays, as well as against Rick Meredith's balls in hand. <clears throat> both teams have won two straight, while Sparkies has split both of their doubleheaders the past two weeks. Lance Tucker scored 13, his 13,000th point last week. Jerome Shortman needs 33 points to reach 4,000. He should get that this week, tonight. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, next week, Saturday, we do have our third Saturday singles tournament. That's going to be a race, multiple game races, anywhere from two to nine games. Open to anybody who wants to play, even if you are not in the AZPL. However, if you are not in the AZPL, you do need 100 games of Fargo, so we do know who you are. Entry is equal to your rating. There is a $5 TD fee and a $5 green fee. Doors open at 11 a.m. Tournament starts at noon. That's going to be at Mills Modern Social. Saturday, July 15th, the third Saturday. Every month, ladies and gentlemen, every third Saturday. Also, in two weeks after that, on July 29th, we do have our women's singles tournament. It's a race to two. Keep it sweet and simple. Uh, for the known ladies who are 550 or higher, you uh, will race to three. Entry is $20. That does include the $5 green fee and the $5 TD fee. There is a women's manicure pedicure uh, certificate available at, for a prize in that tournament as well. That's going to be on the 29th of July, ladies and gentlemen. That is all for today. Please do have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll be at Mills Modern Social tonight at 7 o'clock for those matches. You all have a wonderful day. Stay classy, Arizona. See ya!